Let's take a closer look at today's top story, uh, stories with Kevin Hinks. He's a co-host of Fast Market here. Kevin, um, this is the Fast Market post game show now. Post game that's where, where show. That's that's right. So we, we do one every hour. We talked about it right before we came on air. I mentioned to you. I said it seems like going into the CPI data tomorrow, stocks getting a little bit more optimistic. Typically, they'll sometimes do that. Expectations are that maybe we'll see uh, lower than expected inflation numbers tomorrow. I don't know why. Why would they expect low? I mean, the wages <laughs> data was high. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, the expectations are for year over year core PC or uh, core CPI to go from four percent to three point eight. Yeah. That's the number that people seem to be hooking their hopes to. So if it doesn't hit that, there's the full. You know, the, 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 there's the pendulum that could swing in this market. But right now. You know, this market going into that number tomorrow, we're drifting, and we're drifting higher. The path of least resistance, like I said, the VIX at 1270, yeah. that is a low expectation number. And these markets are getting a little boring. It's amazing. January used to be the rock and roll month yeah. of, of the trading year. And this one, so far, is kind of a sleeper. Unless, of course, you're trading NVIDIA, AMD, Microsoft, those names. If you're trading them, it's a little more exciting. Yeah, uh, but the, the markets are optimistic, Kevin. We all know that. They think that we're going to get 150 basis yeah. points of cuts in 2024. Fed's told I you. I got news for you. Yeah, that ain't happening unless yeah. something breaks. Right. But then all, they're also optimistic that, hey, that trend of downside inflation will continue. But that last mile to get to the 2% mandate is going to be the toughest. And if you look at the data that's been coming out over the last couple of weeks, it's telling you we might be stagnant here on inflation. It might even tick up. Or, re or, or reigniting. Yeah. Yeah, the wages data was stronger. So I, 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 think it, I think we're at a very critical point in this market. And the, the sleepiness, frankly, I've been watching these markets a long time. The sleepiness of this market for mid-January mm -hmm. with a large Jan options expiration coming up yeah. is a little alarming and, how, and how, how, how uh, uncommitted the market is to, to what's going on. Yeah. We've got earnings kicking off on Friday morning. E earnings season, that could be another catalyst. There's a bunch of catalysts out there that could definitely move this market. But one stock that's been moving to the downside since the start of the year, but still up this week is yeah. Apple. Apple got its third downgrade, Kevin, yeah. on that slowing revenue over the last four quarters, but pushing back. It's basically unchanged now. It doesn't seem to matter to investors. They still want to be in Apple. Not a very big move today out of Apple on that third downgrade in two weeks. Yeah. And like we, we talked about a fast market, stock's up for the week. So downgrade all you want. But there was some interesting uh, discussion topics in some of the notes. Also, KeyBank came out with a note later on in the morning about Apple. They give it a sector weight rating. They think the hardware revenue growth of 38% is going to be a number that's a pretty big drop from the three-year average of 62%. Mm -hmm. So there is some concerns out there for, for Apple's decelerating growth in some of their products. But you know, then you go over to services and you look at all the wearables and everything else they do. So, you know, Apple's an interesting name, that's for sure. And the question is, if you sell Apple stock, who are you selling it to, Tom? Yeah, somebody else that wants to buy it. Warren and, Buffett or, or Apple itself. But think about that, because Apple's been that Teflon stock yeah. where it doesn't matter who's downgrading it. But at the same time, the valuation is still elevated on a, yeah. on, on, on a historical basis. So we'll have and to wait and to see. there's to be a lot of those. Yeah, and, and, and with good reason. Yeah. It's slowing growth. If there was any other company besides maybe Apple or Microsoft, you might see this stock down pretty significantly. But it's Apple, right? Everybody wants to be involved in there, and they still make a lot of money. Solid balance sheet, free cash flow. Microsoft, another one here, Kevin, pushed to the upside, up nearly 2%, getting close to that all-time high that we hit in December of 384 bucks a share. Yeah, 384.30. This closed last Friday, 368, Tom. So it's having a good week. Right. In line, it's following no real crazy news on Microsoft, just kind of following NVIDIA to a lesser extent, getting back up. Like I said, it, it hit 384.30 on November 29th. Dip came down off that level, and now we're right. We're a sand wedge away from that right now. So think yeah. about it. 
NVIDIA's up 10% this, uh, this week. Microsoft's yeah. up 4%. Amazon, another uh, magnificent seven name, up 6% this week. Google Alphabet up not 5% this week. So the leaders come back into right. the fray, right? Is that is that the direction that the market's kind of following? That's what the, that's what makes this rally so attractive is the high profile names are leading the way up, with the highest profile now being Nvidia, right? If if this if there's a magnificent seven, there might be a magnificent one within the magnificent seven, and that's Nvidia, yeah, because that uh, is driving some serious numbers. Right fresh now. fresh all time highs, yeah. and it's hard to push against the market going down. Two percent today, is yeah, that the number? When the yeah. magnificent two, seven. Oh, two and a quarter percent. They're about what twenty eight percent of the S and P five hundred, I believe now. The magnificent seven. So hard to push back against yeah. that when they're uh, most of them are rallying today. All right. Thanks to Kevin Hinks uh, for joining me. Uh, he's a co host of Fast Market here on the network.